Doctor and his men plan the theft of a vital radium shipment. With success almost in their grasp, they meet opposition from Batman. Well, where are they? I don't see them. He dropped back. Maybe I got his tire. <laughs> I think so. Take it easy for a minute. I'll go over and see if there's anything I can do for those men in the armored car. Well, I better do it. Won't be a very pretty sight. Besides, I gotta get that radium gun. Change your clothes and turn the car around. You are aware that your late colleagues not only failed miserably in their attempt to get the much needed radium for our secret weapon, but they have also lost their worthless lives. My shortwave radio. Captain Curry, I've contacted Prince Tucker. Go ahead. Captain Nomo Kuri, commanding submarine 918 of His Majesty Hirohito's Imperial Navy, has message for His Highness Prince Tito Taka. This is Dr. Tito Taka. What is your message, Captain Curie? We carry large, valuable package for you from Japan. Unfortunately, we cannot deliver same to you directly. Where do you intend to leave it, Captain? Please pick up package at Smuggler's Rocks at low tide tonight. Follow instructions of Plan 94. Banzai. Banzai. Fletcher, contact Hills Brothers Mortuary and rent a hearse. Line up your new men for tonight and proceed as outlined in Plan 94. The afternoon mail just arrived, sir. Alfred, what's that? Oh, nothing of any interest, sir. Just an advertisement. I was going to throw it away. Let's see it. I thought I told you never to throw anything away. Oh, but if I saved all the trash that comes through the mail, sir, we'd clutter up an entire room with it. Notice how the stamps are fixed on this envelope? Oh, I should say that's rather odd. It's a code message. Come over here and I'll show you. Oh, <laughs> just a blank page. Oh, that's a good one on you, sir. Probably one of those April Fool Day jokes. Not quite, Alfred. Put that in the tray. Enemy has knowledge of construction of new design aeroplane motor at Lockwood. May attempt sabotage. Take necessary action to forestall any such move. Your first special assignment from Washington. That's right. And there'll be two new men by the name of Bruce and Dick working at Lockwood tomorrow. You found it all right. Bring it to the laboratory.
Well, Fletcher, did you encounter many difficulties? None at all. As soon as the tide went out, we went into the cove and found this thing lying right there in the rocks. Here, get the top off. Hey, there's a dead body in here. A body, yes, but not a dead one, gentlemen. Here, put these on the wrists right away. Stand back. Brave son of heaven is under hypnotic influence or what is commonly known as state of animated suspension. I have brought him back to consciousness. He may only come to life for a few moments, but long enough to divulge the information he has been entrusted with. Welcome to the country that will soon be a colony of our expanding empire. One side, Prince Daka. I have important message from Tokyo. Secure Lockwood plane with no secret motor. Fly to Pelican Island for rendezvous with submarine. Further information in here. His mission is completed. He is very happy to die. He didn't have a chance to tell you very much. Everything else we must know we will find in here. Something like uh, V-mail again. Exactly, Marshal. Klein, get the screen and projector ready. Remove the body of my brave countryman. Klein, put out the lights. The cross marks the hangar where the plane is kept. We shall make a photographic enlargement of this map and study it. Put on the lights. To know where the plane is is one thing. To get it is another. But, gentlemen, I think I have a plan. Celebrated cave of horrors. See the life-size models of the victims of our savage enemies. It'll make you think, my friends. See how they treat their prisoners. It'll make your blood turn cold. Hey, you fellas there, I've noticed you standing there. You build planes. Well, sir, I'm going to do something for you. I'm going to let you see this exhibit absolutely free of charge. And when you get back on your job, you'll build those planes just twice as fast. No, I'm not kidding. Come on. Come on. It's on the house. Come on. What can we lose? We've got a couple hours before we go to work. That's we'll... right. There's a philosophy. Hey, by me. Two on the house. It's uh, a pleasure. Thank you, Glad to have you with us, boys. Thank you. Get right in. There, my friends, are two men who are helping us win this war. Those men in the airplane factory, in the munitions plant. Hello. Two mechanics in luck. This can't be the end of the line already. Maybe the car got stuck. Let's give it a push. Okay. <coughs> Won't move. Well, it's a good thing we got in free. Ah, this whole thing is from hunger. You said it. Step this way, gentlemen, please. Pretty good, Sacky. Your accent's a little off, but your makeup is perfect. Come on, let's see what he can show us. That's okay with me. This is quite a joint. Now, this eh? is more like it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, wait. Oh, man. Hey, what is this? Now, this is part of the show, it isn't. What? Bring them to the laboratory. Let's 
Just take it up. Put the headpiece on him. What is your name? Jim Brammel. Have the new Lockwood motor been tested yet? Yes, it is being tested every day. Do you or your friend know how to fly a plane? Fred knows how. Good. Fletcher, release him. Have them bring in the other man. going to take off any minute. You stick around and keep your eyes open. Where are you going? Well, I'm going to scout around a little. If you need me, get in touch with me on your pocket radio. Okay. while in flight. Happy landing. Looking for someone? Well, how's the ship? She's pre-flighted, ready to go. Burn like a... Thanks, Mac. I'll give you regards to the angels. You fellas know you're not supposed to be in here. <laughs> and the plane are not the Lockwood pilot. Report it to headquarters. I'm riding along till I get to the hideout. Tend to it at once. Zone 14. Battery commander. Captain Wales speaking. There's a stolen plane over your section. Bring it down at once.
This man has discovered a rich radium mine, which DACA is determined to steal. Will DACA's men overpower the rugged prospector? And will Robin be able to upset DACA's evil plans? Don't fail to see Poison Peril, Chapter 6 of Batman, at this theater next week. Thank you.